This is a newly opened second-hand car market in Shijiazhong City, the capital of Hebei Province in North China. Hundreds of car dealers are inside because more people are now choosing to buy a second-hand car. I began to drive second-hand cars six years ago and have changed several cars. The price is a major factor. A relatively new second-hand car is at least 15 percent cheaper than a new one. They're coming from the developed regions to less developed regions, and the frequency of people changing cars is also rising, along with more financing solutions. 70% of sales involve loans. It is a fast developing market. It only requires having a job and steady income, and you will get a car loan in a day. The market for second-hand car in China has a huge potential and is developing fast. However, there are still barriers that is restraining the development. This is what policymakers in China are trying to change. In March, the State Council released a new guidelines to promote the second-hand car market, cancelling barriers on cross-region sales. However, for many regions, trans-regional sales only apply to cars that meet the new emission standard, which basically means cars made it in 2016. This limits the supply. Cars between two to six years old are the most popular ones. China's second-hand car sales will reach 10 million this year, yet it's still less than new car sales. In developed countries, second-hand car sales could be four to six times more than new car sales. Many regions fear allowing second-hand cars to flow in could bring more pollution, as China is planning to fully implement new emission standards in 2017, it could be the key to unlocking the market. Ning Hong, CCTV, Hebei Province.